Hey guys, thanks for showing up early. This one goes out to Danny. He said GT, but Danny, you gotta specify what song, dude. Not just say the game. Come on. Come on, you gotta represent the Sonic fan games. Anyway, I don't wanna talk over this amazing soundtrack, so I'll be with you guys in just 12 minutes. See you guys soon. All right, guys, for those of you who are wondering what that song was, that was Miners in the Sky from Sonic GT. And if you don't know what that is, that's for the Hilltop Zone from Sonic GT. Up next, we have a request that came from Cousins Productions. Thank you so much. He requested rolling out for Hilltop Heights boss act from Sonic before the sequel. Enjoy, guys, and see you in just nine minutes. Keep hitting us with those Sonic fan game song requests.
All right, again, that was rolling out for Hilltop Heights, boss act from Sonic before the sequel, for those who are wondering. And that was requested by Cousins Productions. Thanks again so much for your Sonic fan game song requests. The very next one is from Jice, and Jice requested uh, Dark Fortress Zone Act 1 from Sonic 1 Mega Mix. I'm not sure if this is a fan game, but I'll take hacks. It's fine. Here it comes. See you guys in just six minutes. Again, thank you so much, Jice, for requesting Dark Fortress Zone Act 1 from Sonic 1 Megamix. That was the song that's playing right now, quietly in the background. We've got time for one more song, and this one was requested by Matthew Cobalt, and this is No Longer Alone for Storm Station Act 1 from Sonic After the Sequel. Enjoy, and we'll see you at the end of this song.
Sage 2020, baby, and it has been one of the biggest Sage events ever. So just in case you don't know how big of a deal this is, just in case you're feeling a little down about Sonic right now because there is a drought and I'm not going to ignore that. And yes, it is frustrating that we've got this pandemic going on, but let's focus on the positives while we're in this pandemic to get through it. Sage has never been bigger. The site has never been more broken in a good way. Um, thanks to the movie's success, mania, legitimizing, making fan games. I hope all of you can achieve a fan game one day if you want to. Uh, if there is any place that encourages that kind of dream, it is Sage 2020. Now, I know I typically spend a long time talking at the beginning of <laughs> talking about random stuff at the beginning of these live streams, but we don't really have time for that. I've already spent one minute, but don't worry. I plan to spend exactly 20 minutes on each entry this year. I want to explain a few things about my uh, approach to Sage this year because it's a little different and then we'll get right into it, but exactly 20 minutes each game. Now, there's tons of submissions for Sage and I found that most streamers tend to spend a lot of time switching between games. And um, this is the same song I just listened to. Uh, and so I decided I'm gonna p cherry pick the ones I'm super excited about so I can spend more time talking to you guys, less time switching games over. So I combed through the entries with my friends and I, I you know, I, I looked up other people's videos on them to see what kinds of games you are interested in seeing. And I came down to covering three each day of the three days we're streaming, 8 p.m. tomorrow and the next day. Uh, that way, it feels like, because before we would just do a touch and go. But this time, we're going to dive deep. And I think 20 minutes is a good amount of time. I will say with GT, while it has a fantastic story mode for you to check out on your own, because I'm only playing for 20 minutes and that this is a gameplay showcase, and people can look up the cutscenes on YouTube if they would like to. And people are here to watch me play games. I am going to be using a save file from my friend Mel Pontro to play the levels for you. But please go ahead and check out the story mode when we get to GT. I will say this again, but go ahead and check it out. Anyway, no more rambling. It's time for games. And Danny, get ready. Let's see if I screw it up. So let's go. I, I, I've reset it all, so all, should, all that I have to do should be that I just start the game. And I already ran into something interesting. It seems that volume mixer resets after the computer resets, so you might get ear blasted by each game entry. Though I did go into volume mixer and set this all up yesterday. At least the game is on screen. Hey, Sam, what's going on? And yes, I know I did my, I did my typical rant at the beginning of the live stream, but now I'm here for you, chat. And I will try to pay attention to the donations. I've been really bad at that lately. But, um, well, hold on. Can I go back? I, it's gonna go, okay. So I cannot ignore this. I was about to because I've seen it in other people's videos, but I just gotta say, that is an amazing, not only a logo, cause I love the font on Galactic. Uh, the animation is fantastic. Wow. And this menu, for those of you who are not Dragon Ball fans, this is a Dragon Ball reference. Now, I didn't even set my uh, timer on. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we got 20 minutes on the timer starting now. So this has a lot of content packed into it. So let's go into adventure and uh, we're gonna create a new save and we're gonna start with uh, Sonic, why not? Um, I guess I'm just gonna go through the level as many times as I possibly can. I gotta start with Sonic. I'm sorry, Shani. I gotta start with Sonic. Now remember, don't judge my gameplay too harshly. I'm trying to read the chat. But heck in Mexican, this is super cute. Look at the animations. They are clean. The pixel art is fantastic. I love the palette work. That tree is so unique for Sonic, but still fitting to this game style. Um, let's look at this bad Nick. It's, it broke the bridge. Look at him. He's dizzy. Sorry if I'm not going Sonic speed, but this game is beautiful. That bad Nick looked to have had two hurt boxes on the left and right of him, which I don't believe is something I've seen. And it seems to stretch 
uh, out to cover more ground. Let's see. Let's check it out this time. Oh, it turns around. Let's see if it's a hurt box on the sides. Definitely is. That is a spike. And so you got to wait until... Oh, you got to hit him right in the middle. Okay. Uh, Arum says, Galactic Gang rolling up in the chat. Hi, Lilac. Hi, Lilac. I think it's Lilac or Lilac. Lilac? Lilac is how you pronounce that word, right? Being a streamer is hard, and also, I just am not very good at speaking. Um, that is a unique gimmick, I think you should all know. Uh, though, actually, I don't know if it's a unique gimmick to this game. It's very similar to Launch Base's zone, zones kind of like bouncy mechanic. Oh, but it breaks. It breaks so that once it's already broken, you can walk through it. Uh, spring Gang? I don't know what you're talking about, Bean. Uh, <laughs> the springs do look neat, though. They have that mania effect where they kind of have a smear frame. And if you didn't notice, the uh, the visuals kind of changed. Um, I think it's like a almost like a uh, time of day effect. When we went through that tunnel, the uh, the water is less purple and now is more blue. So I guess we went from uh, dawn to uh, the afternoon. I guess, which I do not believe it, it. I don't believe that's something Mania ever did. New snake friend. Was it a snake friend, Hecka Mexican? A, a snake with a spike on it. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, that guy like sought me out. Like he was like aiming at me. Oh, but he's stuck in the ground now. Sorry, dude. You're gone. And a flicky pops out. They're a little smaller than I remember. Uh, no mess ups. No mess ups yet. I mean, I'm gonna mess up gameplay wise, Danny, because I'm trying to read the chat. I like Evan's energy here. I really, really do try to bring my all for a little context on how much I'm pushing the energy for you guys. I'm sorry, I wanna be appreciated, but I'm coming straight off of work in a school that's opened during a pandemic. So you can imagine how hard that is. But I'm here for you guys. When I say I'm in the Sonic community for long term, that is just a gauge on how committed I am to this. I had my I had my phase where I fell out of Sonic. I had my phase where Sonic, you know, Sonic's art style, his voice changed, his writing changed. I had that era for me. But I've accepted that that just because I don't like where Sonic is now, I'm still going to speak to that I don't like it, right? We can still speak our criticisms, but it doesn't that doesn't discredit what Sonic has done for me in the past. Peter Knitter, I believe that's his name. I'm sorry. I think it's Peter Knitter. Said it really well on Twitter a while back that just because things are bad now doesn't doesn't kind of subtract from what the franchise has already done from you. Enough, enough about generic Sonic rants. Let's get into the game and this boss. So I really like this. It's burrowing under the ground and the... Um, the, the, the sandy hills are kind of making it tricky for me because it's making my jump height unpredictable. So it's not simply just jumping over the spike ball. Uh, so this is good. This is using Sonic's physics as a challenge. Uh, but we, if, we're get, if we get really good at this, we can find a way to use it to our advantage. So right now I'm kind of trying to adjust. Oh, that was a neat little phase. Stood up tall, forcing me to jump really high up. Rosemary, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that it is your birthday. Can we get a happy birthday for Rosemary? Rosemary is here almost every single stream that we have uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Rosemary is super supportive and always leaves a comment on our stream archives saying how much she loves uh, our live streams. Vlogging with Leon with a $5 donation. I don't know how to feel about the rumored new Sonic games, but I will say that uh, Sonic fans are always fulfilling of each other's hopes and dreams. We got to keep that going too. And Sega gets that. Sega gets that and that's why they do not throw down the cease and desist for fan games. Uh, these fan games are super important to our culture, uh, our fandom culture, because it really helps inform discussions about games. I Like Sonic games specifically, I know it can get really monotonous and annoying on Twitter and other social media platforms. Uh, talking about Sonic game design because every game is so polarizing. Oh, he has a hurt box on the top. Good to know. You have to wait until he is vulnerable. Okay, so we haven't run into any stage or act two specific badniks. Oh, wait, that might have been one. I don't think we saw him. So I think we have to hit him from the front only when he's not flaming because he has spikes on his head and it appears to have worked for us. That guy's dizzy, so we're good. Uh, 
All right, I'm getting I'm seeing the happy birthdays in the chat. I really appreciate you guys for doing that Seriously, Rosemary deserves it. She is super committed to supporting us. It's the least I can do for Rosemary um, Oh Shani is even saying the happy birthday Shani Shani is such a good guy. Also Shani is one of the people uh, if you see him in the chat Shani classic knack fan was one of the people uh, that um I, I think helped put together put together sage this year, but he also helped me put together my um My set lists I guess for lack of a better term. Oh blue rings from uh, chaotix I believe so this should make it so that when I get hurt I shoot out big rings. Let's actually test that by going back to this bad Nick Cuz you know, I'm not gonna do well. Okay, so it's the big rings and each one are worth 10, correct? Yeah, looks like that or around there. Uh, I really like that as a power-up uh, it makes it easier to recollect your rings. I'm, I'm happy that Mania introduced it. And have you guys noticed that, I mean, I know it's mostly Mania that's informed sprite designs in Sonic fan games, but I mean, Shani wouldn't <laughs> ever be my friend anymore if I didn't give credit to where that sprite style is actually from, which is from Knuckles Chaotix, that kind of glossy look. I don't like it so much in Heroes and Sonic Adventure DX, where the models look super glossy. But for pixel art, I don't know. There's something about it. Seeing that gradient done in pixel art is really nice. It really makes the uh, the pixel art stand out. But in a 3D model, I don't know if it's imp it's, it's as impressive. Uh, hey, Sen. Nice to see you. Um, I, I tuned into your stream a little bit at the end there um, last night for uh, Sonic GT. I'm happy to hear that you had a lot of fun with GT. Of course you're having fun with GT because it's got your boys in the game. Uh, I, it seems that I have gotten to a part in the level where I actually don't know where to go. So give me just a little bit. It probably is that I don't, that I actually have to go. Huh, there's a hole down there. Give me a second here. I seem to have caught myself in a loop. I guess I have to go this way. It's the only thing I haven't tried yet, and it's that way. See, guys, you don't hold right to win. Gerbilsoft. Hey, you're a dev, right? Gerbilsoft, what are you the dev of? Plug your project. I really hope you're a dev, and I'm just not making you plug something that doesn't exist. Bean TDD donated $2. Character Heaven, need I say more? By the way, happy birthday. Aw, oh, Bean, you're so kind, and thank you so much for the $2 donation. Mixed Media, I see your Streamlabs donation. I caught myself not looking at it. Mixed Media with the $2 donation. Um, time to gamer up, Evan. $10, sorry, why did I say two? $10, we are at another boss that seems to be using the slopes as difficulty again. Uh, I like this. This is good. It's unique to Sonic. This, let's use these slopes as difficulty. Do I have to hit him from the side? Oh, I can hit him at the glowy part? Oh, I, can, I seem to have only been able to affect him when he's spinning? Oh, I can hit him at the bottom. Oh, wait. I can't? Do I have to hit him at the side? The top? Oh, the top bounces you off, so specifically the edges of the glass. But can we hit him the edges of the glass while he's flying up? Oh. Oh, I think we can. I think it's just harder to hit him. But you can hit him while he's spinning, which is interesting. You'd think that when, when he's spinning, you, he would kind of deflect you. Gerbil makes things. Yeah, but I'm not clear on what he makes, Shani. Okay, guys, focus mode. Oh, uh, focus mode failed me immediately. Uh, first time joining one of your streams. Love your energy, to be honest. Thank you, Tiger Sona, Sona Alex. Um, I really appreciate it. I, I try to fill in every second with something to watch because I'm aware that not everyone is able to make it to the streams. So I try my very best to make the archive at, at the most video-like possible. Uh, for small attention spans my attention span included uh, Because I am not absolutely prepared to watch an hour-long video um, But if I'm gonna watch an hour-long video It's gonna be a video of somebody getting out as many thoughts as possible as quickly as possible uh, Keyblade spy master donated ten dollars uh, And he said give me a second while I beat this boss, but I'd notice your donation. Don't worry. I am reading Streamlabs. It's gonna happen also, I would recommend everybody try to push for this kind of energy in their live streams if you find it's possible and healthy for you to do so. I come from an improv and performance background, so I know it's healthy for me to push, uh, and it's not gonna like bum me out or cause any mental, mental health issues. It actually makes me happy. So only do it if it works for you, but I would recommend it only because uh, I find that viewers really enjoy it when, when streamers suffer. And if you're putting yourself on the line like that and making yourself vulnerable, 
it, it kind of invites more mistakes to happen. And that just makes the stream more interesting. And you'll find really surprising things happen. That's why people will say things like the streamer's curse. Uh, because streamers are focusing, they're juggling a lot of things. So they're focusing on the chat and it causes their uh, gameplay to suffer. And the chat just likes making fun of somebody and going like, I could do so much better. <laughs> you know, it just, you know, it, it gives them, it gives them, what is it? it? I don't know. It validates their own bad gameplay, I guess. I don't know what it is. Anyway, Keyblade Spymaster, time to read your donation now that I actually got through that. Um, your energy and effort are appreciated, Evan. Thanks for making Sage and Sonic fun even during a drought. I will continue to try my very best. Can we, oh, we can skip the credits. That is really appreciated. Galactic team, you are here. A moment of hearts in the chat for letting us skip the credits because I wanna play more of their game and we don't have much time left. We've got five minutes on the timer. Now, Shani, I know you really want me to play Knack, but with five minutes left, I absolutely have to check out the new character. I am sorry, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check out Tunnel. So I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about OCs, okay? I see the cool with a $5 donation. Let me read it actually really quick. Donating to say happy birthday to Rosemary. TC regulars unite. Us regulars know what it's like to be ignored in the chat. JK, JK, happy birthday. Thank you so much. I see the cool for the $5 donation. Um, so I was gonna talk about, uh, OCs. So, do you guys remember when OCs were considered cringe way back? I kind of wanted to talk about that because, I mean, you know my stance on, like, on that being cringe. I obviously don't think it's cringe. But, um, this, this is what that is cultivated into, right? What we've gotten is, of course, we have forces where Sega has legitimized OCs. But what happened with all of the uh, challenges that people would spam cringe at OCs back in the day, what happened is the people who were truly passionate about learning design and really wanted to make their character appealing to people is they learned a lot about character design through that, I bet. And through that, we get characters like this, who are just like some of our favorite characters, like Tails and Knuckles, who have a specific gameplay element in mind with their design. And they're simple and cute, but Tunnel, is not only he's proportionally different look how small he is his his features are exaggerated to put emphasis on uh, his ability his burrowing ability that's why he doesn't have the generic white gloves like everyone else has there is emphasis put on them by having his um main color that he is advertised as being green in the menu screens but those are on his elements of focus where he what he uses to burrow uh, also, his head shape and muzzle shape are absolutely unique like the classic characters like Knack, Knuckles, and Tails. Unlike Sorry, Shadow, and Silver fans. But, I, I, you know, I think, I think classic Sonic characters are a little bit better designed um, in terms of having a diverse look to them because the, the kind of... The stigma towards OCs kind of came with Hedgehog of the Week, right? And I love me some silver, but I'm just being honest with you guys. If they announced Gold the Hedgehog as a fourth hedgehog or something else, uh, I don't know if I'd be too happy with that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's pushing it. Too many hedgehogs with too many of the kind of the similar look. I will say Silver did a pretty good job at giving a unique quill format. Um, he did. They did it the best they could. And they really wanted to get that hype for uh, Sonic 2006 with a new hedgehog because they were trying to basically uh, make another hit like Adventure 2 at the time. I get it. Uh, did he just diss Shadow and Silver? Unsubscribe. I'm I'm more so giving Tunnel the love that he deserves and OCs the love they deserve. And I want I want to kind of validate people who are making OCs out there right now because I know I made it. I made an OC. I'm a little biased. I retired my OC pretty early on due to the kind of cringe stigma surrounding it so i don't really have much to show to be perfectly honest with you guys if you want to see it one day i will show uh but there's, it's really not much to uh look at but i want to encourage people to stay at it because i learned a lot about character design and that kind of that kind of introduced me into character design so it appears tunnel cannot tunnel in the boss uh which is okay it probably makes it easier for um i mean i don't know what you would do really You'd probably be able to cheese this boss if you could, because you'd boost right above him and probably land right on his head over and over again. 
Uh, if Evan doesn't love our OCs, who will? Uh, Ashlyn, I mean, I think it's just not talked about enough. Love for OCs, because uh, it only makes sense that they were cringe before because the Sonic community as a whole was young. And so it was kids. And what do we know about kids? One, they're super creative, but two, they just simply don't understand things unless you explain it to them. And so that, that applies to character design. And so all they see is they want to make a cool character. And how do they make them cool? They give them all these abilities and they make them a hedgehog because they know everyone likes Shadow and everyone likes Sonic and Silver. So they make it a hedgehog. They give it all the powers. And then there you go. You've got the stereotypical Sonic fan character. But now, right now, OCs aren't like that. I mean, there's still a lot of hedgehogs and they're definitely the most popular uh, animal to make OCs. I kind of liked how the boss, while it was damaged, uh, allowed me to be invulnerable as I, like, I, I phased through it. Or no, I, I phased through it again. I wonder when those hit, uh, hurt boxes become inactive. Maybe the devs in the chat can explain it a bit for me to look at when I'm looking at the archive later on and for viewers to kind of just check at. Um, so unfortunately, I actually have to stop right there uh, because we've run out of time. Uh, with Sonic Galactic. I will give it actually one more minute because I did ramble I think for two minutes So maybe I'll put just one more minute on the timer and play the rest of this act or a little bit more with Tunnel uh, So Tunnel can bounce off of walls as you just saw right there um, But we were all kids once said uh, Jace and yes Jace I did see your correction on how to pronounce it. I appreciate that walls power with the $3 donation uh, Evan my boy my twin my after-school teacher can we just take a mo uh, moment to appreciate the graphic, uh, talented graphic designer that is Ryan? Love you, BB. Hope you are having a good night. We were taken a moment earlier before the stream started to appreciate the amazing visuals that Ryan provided for today's stream. But yes, um, um, huge shout outs to Ryan. He always, for all these events like Sonic Hacking Contest and Sage, and I mean South by Southwest, when we actually get those, uh, he takes, he puts in a lot of effort to make sure we get brand new visuals. And for South by Southwest, we get like promo uh, videos. Ryan really goes all out for us to really make Tails Channel feel like a legitimate news broadcast service. And um, we are a legitimate news broadcast service. You know, whoever said we weren't. Anyway, uh, that's it for Sonic Galactic. Uh, I feel bad to switch, but Stardust Blaze with a $10 donation. Here's some support for the awesome Tales channel. Stardust Blaze, thank you so much for the $10 donation. So, the next game is Sonic Revert. Now, for this one, if you know how to play online with me, get ready to do it. Because this is the portion of the stream where you can play with me. If you have Sonic Revert, uh, you might actually be able to look it up and um, get it set up on your uh, on your browser if you if you can't install anything because I do believe they have a browser version of this game I don't know if they link up I imagine they would and you'd be able to play with me uh, so this is a game uh, oh yeah the volume mixer is all messed up I'm sorry prepare yourself it might be too loud oh no thank gosh it's not that loud but I still want to turn it down a bit I really wish Windows I mean, Windows, I love I love your computers. I prefer them over uh, Apple, but I gotta tell you. Oh, wait, no, let's look at that. Let's look at that. Actually, no, we don't have time to look at it. I gotta move on. There is a really cool, check it out when you uh, have time. There is a really cool opening animation that um, looks really neat. They added it from last uh, the last build. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Uh, the redesign for Tails Channel is super clean though. The, the rebranding from South by Southwest a couple years ago or the design for Sage 2020. Uh, create. I want to try create a game. Enter room name. I'm going to call it TC, okay? Uh, and just see. Oh, I can't do that. Why can't I do that? How long does it have to be? Oh, okay. Tails channel. Create. All right. It's called Tails channel. Um, well, you guys are joining. I'm just going to figure out how to play this game. Um, okay, so jump is... The space bar or oh there's a little tutorial all right so okay this is a cute little game where sonic kind of steers like a car there's a boost it supports controllers but also keyboard you can do a lot of wall running and really cool stuff in this game i guess we're gonna be uh walking through the tutorial let me know if you're able to get in the game guys um there's a there's a weird oh there's an interesting homing attack let me show you how it goes it kind of reminds me of uh the sonic freedom kind of air dash where you kind of pause for a moment in the air why is my camera all zoomed in like that? Oh, there we go. I like this camera better right now. Okay, so it kind of uh, 
freezes you in place and gives you a moment to kind of reposition yourself and target and shoot. But you can only do it once uh, in the air. There's a ring boost. Oh, okay. Respawn is R. That's what's happening. There's a ring boost and I'm not sure how to do it. Let's see what it is. This one with rings. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't know what ring boost is. Oh, that's ring boost. Okay, 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 okay. So we're in it now. We're in it to win it. Okay. Let's just see how this goes. Did I even turn my 20 minute timer on? Uh, it's okay. I'll be able to just do the math and look at my time that way. I know I'm all, I'm currently like two minutes over. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I don't really have time to look at the chat. I'll just glance over every once in a while. So when you, you'll cling to the wall like this and like that, but it gets really trippy because the camera will, oh, I don't know why that's happening. Uh, this looks like that one old classic uh, 3D Sonic game that got canceled. Uh, oh, you mean Sonic Extreme? Uh, there actually is a Sonic Extreme remake at Sage this year. I was going to check it out, but uh, I decided on other games instead. Let's... Oh, I respawned. Okay, let's let's see if we can choose a map. Tab to select map. Levels. Marble Zone. Why not? So the Sonic Virtual Experience. I wish I could play Sonic VR or Virtual Sonic Drift and Miss this year, but I do not have a Oculus Rift or any way to play it. Um, oh no, I guess I died. Hey guys, are you playing with me? All right. So uh, for those of you who are just joining us, you can actually play with us. I, uh, I can't steer myself. Okay guys, so it looks like I'm being a blumbering idiot. And while that's partially true, I can't turn. What? Uh, all right, whatever. We got past it. That homing attack is pretty interesting. It absolutely is, Jark. I'm not really using it because I'm kind of overwhelmed, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. A I saw that person jump. Where are you going? What? Did you just do it? Oh, I just respawned. How do you do that? No. Wait, I'm trying to remember how to do the air dash. What is it? Is it just the jump button in the air? What is it? Uh, it oh, I'm forgetting what button it is. What button is it? What's the button? I've already lost. Oh, there's a, there's a stomp? What? Oh, it's it is an A in the air again. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, we did it. Okay. All right, I'm back in the game. Five deaths. Danny, do you have to keep track of all my errors? I'm doing decently. It's my like first time since this build. Okay, there's a ring boost. Ah. Uh, 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 why? What is it? Wait. Now I know why they have that homing attack. Uh, can I go on the other side of this? Uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm living. Oh, God. Carla, you're absolutely right. Oh, God, indeed. I, I need help. Uh, I'm still alive. So, guys, this is online so you can play with your friends. Um, and, you know, it's it's kind of pick up and play. Like, it's it's a streamlined Sonic experience, but it's definitely like a party game. I imagine racing this with friends in uh, the, the group chat would be quite a bit or quite a lot of fun. Not quite a bit of fun. Um, and Drift and Miss, yes, GT is up next. Uh, it should be at, oh, crap. It should be at around like 842 is when I'll start it because I'm a little bit behind. Though Drift and Mist, I know you had a huge part in putting together sto the story in that game. Or not a huge part in assembling the whole thing, but you pushed big for it. But I hope you understand that I only have 20 minutes with the game. So I went ahead and I got, I went ahead and I got a completed save file so I can play through the levels so I can cover the most gameplay possible on the 20 minute block. I hope that's okay. I will encourage everyone to check out the story mode on their own playthrough and check it out on their cutscenes. Uh, though, you'll be happy to know uh, that I'm dying. <laughs> that I have the voices on this time. Though, I feel like I need to explain myself. I knew that I had a lot of guests on that stream, so I was worried the voice acting would kind of uh, not mesh well with the, like, five voices I had on. Uh, is this going to work? Where am I going? Uh, I didn't think it would mesh very well. I do have the voices on this time. I'm dying. I do have the voices on this time. Albeit a little turned down just so that it doesn't overpower my voice at all or the OST. But they are there. So don't worry. I am so sorry about before. I no hard feelings at all. I did not mean anything by it. It was I just simply was trying to make the stream 
the most effective as possible. Uh, but yes, GT has full voice acting. Uh, that is absolutely right, the Invincible Sun. And it's really neat. You should check it out, and I'm dying. This level was clearly too hard for me. Uh, King Raikou says, what do you think of the bullet dash? That air dash you can do and aim and charge up. So I think the bullet dash is absolutely essential for this type of game. And it makes, it basically makes this game. Because you'll see I'm having a really hard time uh, positioning myself. I mean, I'm reading the chat too. So I'm doing much, poor, much more poorly than you probably will on your own playthrough. So I definitely encourage you guys to check out uh, Sonic Revert uh, at Sage this year. It, again, it is online multiplayer. So try it out with the group chat. But yeah, this uh, bullet dash is perfect for what what you're trying to do here with the game. I'm not sure if we have any devs in the chat. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. I know, I, oh, come on! I just got through that part! Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, yes, but Drift and Miss, uh, as I said, absolutely, I meant no disrespect to the VAs. I just simply wanted to showcase the gameplay. So I, I got second? What? Did everyone else leave? I swear I saw a bunch of people in the chat. Uh, so it appears I do not have a... Uh, oh, I do have a timer on. Okay, so we got 12 minutes left. So let's get into another uh, level. Oh, uh, I guess I'll switch characters. Yeah, let's play as Tails. Oh, Tails' voice is in it? Does he have a bullet dash? Oh, he does. Yeah, he has to have a bullet dash. Okay, levels. No, not tutorials. My controller is working against me. I don't know what's going on, but let's go to whatever this level is. Dev, I have a bug. I have a bug to report. All right, guys, let's go. I'm going to win this round. Uh, definitely going to win this round and not absolutely. Ah! Okay. All right, Shadow. Time for me to finish the... Oh, no. Bye, Shadow. It's been fun. I... Yeah. Man, yeah, but this is what I was saying um, when I uh, when I was mentioning that Sonic kind of steers like a car in this uh, And it's really not letting me look away, which is good. I mean, this is what we want from Sonic. We don't want automation. So uh, oh Reposition yourself good recovery. All right tails is so cute, right? We think so too here at tails channel. Can I get to the portal? Uh, No, okay fine. That's fine. I bet you that's a shorter route that I just missed. That's fine. That's fine I don't need it I'll go fast enough on my own. I don't need your shortcuts. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, can I, can I make, can I land on the top? I can't. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, bad, bad idea. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm actually ahead of somebody. Go, go. Oh yeah, I'm actually winning. This is really satisfying guys. When you figure it, when you get the hang of it, it's like really neat. These little like mini automated sections in between is really helpful to the experience. I don't know. It's almost like sensory overload, but that might just be because I'm used to automation. Okay. It might just be me. That might not be something that ages well. It's just because I'm a streamer right now and it's appreciated in this moment. Two screw ups. Danny, those don't count. Gameplay screw ups don't count. You're talking, you're counting like stream screw ups. And so far I am peachy. No screw ups for the stream. I'm running it absolutely flawlessly basically minus my gameplay recovery oh i can do it again because i touched the ground can i go on the back oh i'm on the back i'm on the wrong side can i turn around can i get to the portal ah no my god no deaths i can't do it someone's finished the race oh oh man this is this is hectic i love the portal mechanic uh ashlyn <laughs> oh man Okay, hold on. Ashlyn, I was looking at your chat, but that recovery, I was able to pull it off, but I'm on the wrong side. Ashley, this is because of you. I gotta get to that portal. <laughs> I mean, the most important thing is that I interacted with the chat, right? That's the most important thing. Am I going backwards? I really hope not. I'm going somewhere. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> We're making some progress somehow. This is new, right? I think. <sighs> uh, please hit the spring. No, please. Oh, I ran out of time. Uh, okay, it just cut me out. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, how much time do we got left with this game? Uh, nine minutes. Okay, so we got time for another race. All right, we are packing content into this. What? I didn't mean to do this. Okay, we're packing content into this. So it looks like we only have one more. Well, I don't think we played Green Hill itself yet, have we? We'll try Green Hill if we have extra time. Two screw-ups, two 
fails, 12 deaths. What are the two screw ups? I've died a lot, but oh, but what stream screw ups? What? What did I do? This music's kind of neat. Did Sonic Revert have a, uh, oh! Did Sonic Revert have a uh, custom OST last year at Siege? Okay, this is clearly the hard one, I see. I'm not prepared for this level. Okay, how am I? No. Uh oh. Okay, uh, uh, uh. Okay, alright, sure. Progress. Uh oh, no! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I should probably shout out that Drift and Miss is the uh, the voice of Sonic in Sonic GT, the one we're about to switch to in just a moment. How am I supposed to land on those little platforms? How am I supposed to do that? I can't, oh wait, I'll just let go of the trigger, right? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. All right, Tails Channel, notice me. Hi, Gren and Jason, you've been noticed, but only by Evan from Tails Channel, not all of Tails Channel at once, sorry. You, you might have to uh, work a little harder to get acknowledgement from every team member. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, Sonic. I'm gonna win. Sonic's faster than Tails. Oh, crap. Uh, no, what? He passed me. Uh, oh, passed you. Bye. <laughs> oh, I missed the booster. Oh, no. Sonic, come back, please. I have to win something. I'm the streamer. Everyone's watching me. It's embarrassing. No. Uh, bye Sonic. I'm the worst. I'm the worst out of everybody here. That's normally how it is, isn't it? Come on. Uh, yeah. Oh man, it's so hard to stay in a straight line. Because again, the characters kind of handle like a car, which is intentional. And I imagine, I can, like I'm getting the hang of it, right? See, I just figured that out. So like, honestly, like if I had a little bit more time with this game, I'm sure I would figure it out. So I don't think that's like so much a game design issue as it is like a learning curve, which is good. I mean, since it's an online game, you're gonna want that, oh crap. You're gonna want that learning curve so some people are better than others, you know? I get it. Is this not scripted? What, I thought, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, I'm not holding anything. And he's still walking, stop, stop running. I just wanna stop. Is there a break? Oh, I just respawned, okay, that works. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just walk slowly to the platform. Come on, win. I can't. Nathan, the streamer never wins. Uh, can you please show me a clip of a streamer reading the chat and beating all of the viewers? Show me that. I will take the L gladly if you find me a streamer that is watching the chat and wins against all of the chat playing the same game where he's on equal footing with the viewers. There is no way, absolutely impossible. I'm probably worse than other people, right? You could probably find a clip of me doing worse, sure. But that's whatever. We're not gonna get into that argument. I'm talking about winning, like just winning at all. That would be incredible. And even if they do pull it off, I would question, no, I thought it was on the ground. <sighs> I was like, you saw me. I was like, right. Oh man, that was just mad. That was just bad. Bad. I'm mad because bad. I believe in you to at least win, Evan. Roger, you're putting way too much faith in me, but you're a regular, so maybe who knows? Maybe Roger, you know that I'm a, a, a deep down. I'm an. Ex I'm clearly not an extreme gamer <laughs> because I'm failing at this simple task. It's like, it's slightly too far away for a regular jump. The dev is playing with me. Oh, so that's the guy who's freaking winning over and over again. So I gotta aim at the platform so I can get two bullet dashes in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is not good, this is bad. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Can I run on the back of this? Okay, <laughs> all right. We're, guys, okay. Uh, oh, no, oh no, uh, oh, we made it work. We got through the part. Chat, we got through the part! Ah, I'm gonna die! Wait, there's something down there? I can, we're living, we're living. I have zero rings, but we're living. Oh, more of these platforms! Dev! I am really upset with you, Dev. Wait, did it just give me the next part? Or is that checkpoint part? Is that checkpoint?
point really far back. I mean, regardless, I'm having fun with this game. Again, learning curves. Wait, am I going backwards or is that guy going backwards? Where, what's happening to me? Uh. Um, but I really like how you can recover in this. Um, you guys remember in SA2 where you could like, you would take damage, but um, after your, uh, your hit's done, I guess, or after you stop flashing, oh, I'm doing terribly. You could you get another jump. So if you're hit off of a platform, you can jump in air and actually if you combine that with a homing attack, you can actually make it back. I'm going backwards. You can actually make it back to the stage. Uh and that was something that I don't think SA1 had. And this is kind of giving me those vibes. Yeah, I figured out that I was going the wrong way. Thanks, Nat. Yeah, and mixed media. <laughs> you know you have to fly. Keep your knife fuel alive. Drift and miss. I you're making me think I can fly, and then I, I pressed buttons, and then I accidentally pressed the respawn button, Drift and Miss. Just for that, I'm muting your voices. I'm muting just your voice. Oh, wait, I lost. How much time do I have left with this game? I think it's got to be up by now. Ah, uh, my fingers were, like, clenched the entire time. We actually have time for... We got two minutes, so we got kind of time. Oh, guys, this is actually really cool you were able to play with me. I'm happy that worked out. You know, whenever you're trying to play an online game with viewers, there's always that chance that, like, it's not going to work out. But it's kind of worked out. So hopefully Green Hill is, like, a first level. And maybe I can style on all you gamers and finally take a W in this last two minutes. Let's go. This is my game. This is the one. Chat. Just for a little bit, is it okay if I ignore you? Just to beat these guys, put these gamers in their place? All right, everyone that loses to me is not a gamer, all right? Uh-oh, I'm fall- uh-oh, I'm, I'm slipping already, guys. I don't know, I think you all are gamers. Is anyone behind me? Is anyone not a gamer? Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, all right. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. no. No, no, no. Wait, let's use this to my advantage. Skip. No, no, I jumped too far. Oh, no, wait, I'm good. Does it, it doesn't say what place I'm in. Can I skip ahead to these other springs? Uh-oh, will it, oh, 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 big skip, big skip. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I just saw that tail skip, but I don't have the time. I don't have the time to make that decision. Guys, watch out. You're not going to be a gamer. Guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, no. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh no, oh no, I'm going backwards. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. I don't know where I am. Uh oh, okay, uh, uh, oh, oh, this is very bad. I'm in last. Okay, you're all gamers, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. Please make it to the, please. Okay, all right, I can work with this, I can work with this. I can work with this, I can work with this, I'm going backwards. All right, okay, <laughs> I'm still in it. I'm gonna run out of time for this game. I'll probably go a little over, but don't worry, I'll make it an even, I'll make it an even uh, 20 minutes for Sonic GT. Uh, but I'm I'm not a gamer. You're all gamers. Where's the end? I know I can use Ring Dash. I know this, but I'm not at that level. The Ring Dash is only for gamers. I used it a little bit and I regret everything. Oh no, this freaking stage has little platforms. I'm not ready for this dev. I'm not at this level. I'm not at this level. Oh wait, you can use that ground dash. If I can figure out how to... Okay, okay, that's the strats. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what everyone's doing. That's what everyone's doing these days. That's what the kids do. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, this is what you have to do when you play. It's that ground pound that does everything. Wow. Oh, <laughs> well, better late than never, right, guys? Wow, I don't think the ground pound was there last time or I was just not competent enough to do it. Um, but you know what? Just to make sure I don't go over too much, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> I'm going to quit because I'm bad. Okay? Uh, thank you guys for playing with me. Uh, so now it's time for Sonic GT. Ugh. So for those of you who are just joining us just for GT, I know I said this twice already, but I'm going to say it again. We are not going over the story mode. I am using a full save uh, from Sonic GT just so that I can make the full 20 minutes gameplay filled. Uh, you can look up the cutscenes on YouTube if you're not able to run this game on your computer. Story mode playthroughs are available on YouTube. Let me just uh, make the uh, game volume a little lower. Oh, it, it, it remembered the volume of GT. All right, props, GT. Um, 
and we're not playing the story mode but please i encourage you to check it out is it a, it's one of the few uh sage submissions this year that has a full story it's got full voice acting um and i believe that is all i wanted to say um so we're gonna start with sonic uh drift and miss you're gonna have to remind me how to use the trick system i think i remember let's try the tutorial maybe it'll tell me how to use the trick system hello use this to move around and the hints to learn more okay so let's learn together this is the start checkpoint yeah i know what that is okay jump by pressing a okay that much i know camera i know how to use the camera i played this before so i know how to use the homing attack springs i know how to use springs that's all good blue blue springs which will approach you the higher you the higher you will bounce <clears throat> oh interesting so if you fall from like really high up the blue springs will bounce you up higher okay uh there's probably this is probably spin dash momentum and roll Alrighty, alrighty. I know how to do that. Wall jumping, I know how to do this. You just cling to the wall and you jump up. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Slopes and jumping. Sonic can jump much higher when jumping upwards from a slope. Sorry, chat. I'm uh, ignoring you just for a minute to go through this tutorial so you all know how to play with me. Dash attack. Uh, you perform a dash attack when there's nothing to home in on. Okay, great. Um, momentum homing attack. Maintain your mo velocity. Makes sense to me. Alright left bumper and directions the left bumper and directions the left bumper and directions doesn't seem to um do tricks maybe it's maybe it's locked until i get to that part in the tutorial special actions each character has a special action that can be performed most will activate when you're pressing right bumper in the air for sonic it is the drop dash I love the drop dash. It's it's like a better spin dash because you can position yourself while you're charging it up. You don't have to, you know, stop all the action to do a spin dash. Uh, this is another one of those games, those 3D games where you can recover because of the wall jump. <clears throat> all right, maybe. So this is stomp. Press X to do the stomp. All right. Did I just hear a Sonic Rush sample in the music here? That like wow wow wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. <laughs> Drift and Miss says ow. Can I get an ow in the chat? Oh no, I'm at the beginning. Oh no, I'm gonna go into a stage. Sorry. <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta go into a stage. We don't have time. We don't have time. Okay, let's go to Ocean Paradise. I haven't played this yet. So let's. let's go okay so i'm gonna try my very best left bumper pl plus the face buttons oh i saw the trick activate i'm seeing the trick activate oh so it's a face button a direction and a bumper is that right drift and miss i mean it seems to be only yeah, the dirt here. Let me try it when I get more height because maybe it needs more time to activate. I absolutely love doing bounce attack upstairs. So that part I just passed. I don't know what it is. It keeps your it keeps your momentum. Bounce attack is a really great move as well as the uh, drop dash. Both really good moves. Honestly, I if the drop dash had to replace a spin dash, I would take it. Honestly, they're kind of redundant having both trick system so it doesn't appear that the trick system i don't know what he's doing there though oh that might just be like a different falling animation so yeah it doesn't appear that the trick system works unless you press a face button because it's working 100 percent of the time when i do that so that's a lot of inputs for the trick system a little surprising how many how involved it is but i guess you know you really have to earn it if you're gonna pull off a trick it truly feels like a trick right oh i just did it by pressing a different bumper Oh, oh, sorry, that was me trying to do the trick system, and I absolutely made the game look like it wasn't fun because that was a really epic part. Let me try that again. No! Uh, okay, so right now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know you guys are really excited about the trick system, and it's really cool, 
I am not capable of doing it. So for the sake of the gameplay in the 20 minutes I have to feature this game to make it look as fun as possible, I have practiced without the trick system, though I haven't played this level. This is my first playthrough of this level. How does the light dash work? Oh, it keeps your momentum. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay off the trick system a bit. Uh, just for a little while so I can look at the chat, answer questions that people might have. Uh, because I'm noticing that too much of my focus is going into pulling off the tricks uh, while trying to make adjustments to the new level, the chat, and all this business. Um, but I really do appreciate a trick system being implemented because once it's one of those things where once you master the game, it's probably really fun to pull off. Oh, I just messed that up. Uh, it's looking like we have to go this way because I think this is a checkpoint, but I didn't have enough momentum to get where I need to. So we'll take the lower out. It's two buttons. Not quite, because you have to press... You have to press... Oh, is it only two? Wait a minute, hold on. It doesn't seem to activate unless I press a direction. So it's two buttons, but one direction. So... Also, the face buttons also do other things. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the trick system alone. Every time I think about it, I get a little confused. It's it's a little hard it's a little hard to do it on first playthrough. But again, should be fun to play with once I get more into the game. Uh, which is good. It's always good to have something to come back to. I don't know. I, I know you can wall run that part, but I am absolutely butchering that butchering that part. <clears throat> I played a lot of Hilltop though. Um, Hilltop is something that's existed since uh, previous builds, but it's almost been completely revamped. Uh, and if you guys want to know more details about Sonic GT, uh, we actually have a full interview with uh, Greedy the Dev, uh, who's in the chat. So if you have any questions for him, feel free to ask, uh, provided he's willing to answer. <laughs> I don't mean to volunteer you, Greedy, uh, but I assume you're, you're you're cool with that. But uh, if Greedy's not feeling willing to answer questions, we have a full interview on TalesChannel.com with Greedy. Uh, about all things GT and you know how it was how it came to be and all those nitty-gritty stuff um, <clears throat> Anyway, it seems that I am on the uh, lowest route because I'm not good enough Which reminds me of my father. I'm just kidding. My father was really nice. He never said that to me It's just a it's just a <laughs> joke But that's so sad that that's a joke for people dang dads dads in general just got to step it up man and I made it out alive. I really hope we don't run out of, uh, we should have time to get through more levels. I might be going in circles. Is this game considered finished or n not? Not so greedy. This is definitely not finished. I remember in the interview that greedy said that it wasn't finished. Um, but I think greedy mentioned in our interview that he's going to be taking a break from the project. Um, this game is ding dong done. Is it done? Drift and miss? Really? Was I wrong? Have a great stream, Evan. Hope you're doing good. Speed Supersonic. I'm doing good. Thanks for the 199, dude. Why don't you stream Sage? Why don't you stream Sage? Oh, I should probably play as a different character, shouldn't I? Probably should do that. Probably do that. Uh, let me exit level. Uh, I should showcase at least one other character, right? <clears throat> All right, let's go into... Gotta go back. Gotta go back. The link to our exclusive Sonic GT interview. Thanks, Ryan. So let's let's play some Mighty. We don't we don't we don't uh, see a lot of 3D Mighty, so we might as well check it out. Uh, so what's cool about Mighty is he has like a drop dash. Well, no, it's like a it's a drop dash that f falls to the ground really quickly, like that, uh, which works really well for Sonic GT specifically because there's a lot of times where your momentum will almost be so great that you'll be flying into the air, and Mighty's really good uh, if you find that that is uh, something that happens to you a lot. Uh, because he'll... It's, it's like that last game we were playing, Sonic Revert, where if you're like, oh, I need to land right there, right below me. If only I could go careening to the floor really quickly. Mighty also has a bounce attack himself, too, which I didn't know last time I streamed this, uh, which allows me to do... Those bouncing bits, too. Upstairs and stuff, which I, I would have really missed bounce attack if it wasn't here. Um, so I'm really glad Mighty still has it. So you can tell I know this stage a lot better. So this is an example of you know, kind of how the gameplay looks when 
when the person playing it isn't completely incompetent. Incompetent. Speaking of being incompetent, I can't speak. Uh, so I don't know if this is the optimal route, Drift and Miss, but you know, doing what I can. Uh, Drift and Mist is, Mist is in the chat uh, talking all about the uh, the VAs and who to credit with who. Uh, so if you want to know about that information, check it out there. Though it is also in our uh, GT interview that Ryan linked above using the Tales Channel YouTube account. So you can check out the whole interview if you want a full list of everybody involved in this wonderful project. I'm super happy it is as complete as it is here at Sage. Greedy, we we really appreciate all your work and everybody on the GT team, along with all the people that put together Sonic Revert. And of course, Sonic Galactica devs. Thank you all for making this fandom fantastic. And I hope you guys in the chat, if you are ever interested in submitting something to Sage, I hope one day your dream comes true. And I hope one day to play your fan game and chat with you about it. Maybe do a TalesChannel.com interview and get to know you as an artist. And let's all give a massive shout out to Sega for making this possible. Because thank goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank goodness we are not Mario fans right now. Mario fans are real jealous of this right now. I just gotta say. <laughs> I'm speaking for all Mario fans, by the way, but they have to be jealous. How could they not be? How could they not be? We get like interesting takes on 3D Sonic, 2D Sonic, you name it. Fans are like coming up with new innovations to the Sonic format constantly, like Tunnel and Sonic Galactica and Mighty in 3D in here, in this real momentum-based kind of... I know I, I know I wrongly called it open world uh, in the, uh, the exclusive demo we had a while back, a couple weeks back, but I think this is what people know is open world, though it is not... it is not technically open world. But it's pretty open, and for like a YouTube video title, I, I wanted to say open world because the people who are looking for an open world Sonic game are looking for this, I think, you know? It kind of satiates those viewers. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think I really clickbaited anybody. Uh, we gotta try Ray. So, so I hear that Ray has the gliding from Sonic Mania, but I've never used it before. So we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, Mighty Sen is, is popping off in the chat for the boys, Ray and Mighty. I. Oh wait, most abilities are activated using the same button as the drop dash, so it's probably... Okay, alright. But how do I... How do I go up and down, though? Hmm. Anyone wanna help me? Anyone wanna help me figure out... Does he just go up and down on his own? The joystick doesn't appear to be doing anything. Does it have a like a, a fixed arc? That makes any sense? Oh, there's a spin dash. I'm gonna have to learn how to use that now because I don't have the drop dash. Okay, okay, police. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. I'm just an innocent squirrel. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look to the chat to see what I can figure out. Uh, keep and hold left bumper in midair, then press A B X Y or right bumper. Left bumper, left bumper in midair, then press A, B, X. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh. Wait, why is it weird? It doesn't work every time. Do you have to hold it? Oh, okay, guys, this is, this is very important. A tap won't work for the trick system. Here I am, even though I said I wasn't gonna mess with this. But Spectrum donated $2. I had to. But uh, Spectrum Edge, thank you so much. So you have to be holding the bumper. And let's see. Oh, okay. You can just... Weird. Hold on. What? Weird. Okay, so you can't hold it down while you're standing and jump and then press it because it'll still act as a stomp. But if you jump in the air, then press the left bumper, then press the face button. Keep that bumper held but you can tap the face button that is how you do it every time thank you so much spectrum edge i am now ready to be a gamer and die <laughs> now i still need to learn how to do the gliding 
I don't really know how to do that yet. I know how to activate it, but controlling it... Does it just have a fixed... a fixed, uh, arc? Does it just go up, then down? Uh, when you are flying, hold A to dive. Okay, okay. Okay! Alright! Okay! Ah, okay! Sorry, I, I... Brain fart. Straight up, just a brain fart. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> but we figured it out. My camera is in the wrong angle. Okay. Alright, we are at the beginning of the stage. We dive, and we go up. And we die by pressing A. Okay. All right. Hey, we're flying. Oh, oh no. Ah, we're not flying. We're dying. We're dying, chat. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're kind of alive. Knuckles is shaking. We're just climbing this wall and Knuckles is like, I wanted to be in the game, but they don't need me anymore because they can all climb now. Greedy was like, mm, no, no, Knuckles, you can't be in this game. Everyone can climb already. Uh, okay, can I just like pull my head out of my butt for a second and play the freaking game? Spin Dash, which one is it? Uh, there's so many abilities. This is my only thing with uh, fan games with a lot of different abilities. Uh, it's just, it, it kind of, I'm just used to the Yuji Naka mentality of like the least amount of buttons pressed as possible that they kind of held on to in the classic era where like directions act as abilities. I understand that like the nature of this game is to kind of to master it, master all the abilities. And all these abilities are, they come in handy. They have a really good utility with the levels that have been presented here. But I'm just kind of like overwhelmed on first playthrough at least. Uh, I almost wonder if there's a way to like have the the abilities unlocked like if you were ever to like because I've, I've heard this game is done okay so if you were ever if anyone was going to take an approach similar to gt it would almost be interesting to do something like the first level is kind of only focused around as many creative gimmicks as you possibly can have using only one main ability and then you kind of collect them as you progress through the story so that the player has time to kind of learn it. Learn it as they play through. Uh, I mean, for the purposes of Sage, you know, I understand that that's that a full playthrough. This is this is a very rare instance in where you can have a full playthrough of a fan game that has a story. Um, I'm just saying, you know, greedy. Whenever you come back to this project in however time, how much ever much time you want to wait, which honestly you've earned as much rest as you want, greedy. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. However, if you ever come back to it or if anyone tackles an approach like this, I think it might be a little bit more consumer friendly. Uh, cause then you'll, cause then it'll be that kind of idea where you can go back with all the abilities and maybe the stages do have hidden paths where you would need the other abilities to get there. Maybe you wouldn't need them, but it would make it easier to get there. And then you'd have reason to go back to the levels. That's kind of what I really liked about, uh, Sonic Colors, right? Some people really don't like colors and the wisps and all that business. But something that was really cool about it at the time was that y you could go back into levels uh, before those wisps were unlocked. And there was, there was kind of a reason to go back. Honestly, like I know a lot of it was 2D and it was blocky and it wasn't as momentum based as we wanted it to be. I get it. And those are all fair criticisms and I agree. However, I'm just, you know, stating the positives of colors but being careful not to forget the negatives i do still acknowledge the negatives sends art sends art did i did we see it i might have missed it oh what is good that was not here in the tc exclusive build pre-sage that's kind of a nifty uh area figure eight rail section so, uh, it looks like we have about one minute left, so I think I might just spend the last minute chatting with you guys. Um, wow. Uh, what a time that was. Oh my goodness. I think that was a full 30 minutes. Or not 30, 20 minutes. Wow, guys. So, in this last minute that I have, I'm already over time. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about... I'm sorry, Mighty Sen, we missed your art. I want to talk to you guys about the games we have planned for next year i'm sorry i'm sorry again that i missed sen's art 
but it is in there. See if you can find it when you play Sonic GT on your own. Um, but I'm actually going to tell you guys before I uh, send you guys off what games we're going to be streaming tomorrow so you guys know what to look forward to. So each day I tried to break it down so that we start with something 2D or classic Sonic based, and then we end with something modern, and in the middle is something that kind of doesn't really fit into either category. Um, because I know that's those are the two big things right now that people are pushing for. Ashlyn, Henley, thank you so much for the $2 donation. So tomorrow, um, oh sorry. <laughs> ah, my brain is going so fast. I can't wait to just fall apart right after this stream goes off air. Anyway, just wanted to say you are doing awesome. Ashlyn, thank you so much. I really appreciate that guy. Uh, that guy. I, you're probably not a guy. I don't know why I'm assuming your gender. <laughs> you're a... What? Thank you so much. <laughs> Heck in Mexican. You know where I can get... Oh, sorry. Uh, you know where I can get a full save file for GT Evan? Yeah, by playing through the full story. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow, we're going to start off with Sonic Robo Blast, made by the Earless team. And then we're going to go into some Sonic Arcus. Arcus, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Arcus, I think. Sonic Arcus, which is a really interesting kind of remake of the Unleashed engine. So fans of Unleashed, you're going to want to uh, stick around for that tomorrow, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to end off with Sonic Encore, which is kind of like Sonic GT in terms of level design, but a little bit more streamlined, a little less opened. Um, I have played a very, very little amount of it so far. I think there's around four or five, maybe three playable characters. Again, these really are blind playthroughs and first-time reactions. So I don't know too much about it. I just know that it's absolutely worth covering this year at Sage because it is one of the few 3D entries at Sage 2020 that kind of has multiple levels, a boss, multiple characters, and full levels. It's not just an open sandbox. Uh, so... That's it from me. I hope you guys had fun and you are still having fun at Sage 2020 this year. Please check out even more entries than we've covered today, but these are just some of our faves. Anyway, we'll see you guys Wednesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I had a blast with all of you. See you guys tomorrow.